Good morning, I'm Tyler. And I'm Luke, and this is your news. Powder Puff is moving to this fall, so get ready to come play or cheer on the junior and senior girls as they learn the game of football. The game will take place Wednesday, October 27th, and will be raising awareness for breast cancer, so get your pink ready. Just a reminder, for junior and senior girls that are wanting to play Powder Puff, packets should be in by this Friday, October 1st, and no later than Wednesday, October 6th, to the athletic office. Did you miss the informational meeting and still want to play? Well, it's not too late. Reach out to Miss Duncan or Miss Labu to join the Battle of the Beast classroom to find out what you missed and how to be part of this event. Students, please remember that testing is coming up on October 13th. All juniors will be testing along with 9th, 10th, and 12th grade students that signed up. Students will be required to bring a pencil, ID, and calculator. If students need a calculator, they can see Ms. Jowson in the Media Center before the testing day. Happy Homecoming Week! The overall theme for the hallway contest is Disney movies. The seniors have Finding Nemo, the juniors have Alice in Wonderland, the sophomores have Monsters, Inc., and the freshmen have Toy Story. Decorating is Wednesday after school, which is today. We can't wait to see what you all come up with. Homecoming tickets are continuing sales for $20. Purchase your tickets at, at all lunches starting this Wednesday, September 29th. Tickets will be available for guests from South Lyon High. If a student couldn't get one at lunch, please see the main office secretary to reserve a ticket. Also, you can vote for your homecoming court using the QR codes at lunch. Now, let's take a look at our 2021 homecoming court. The king and queen will be announced halftime at the football game. The rest of the spirit week is Thursdays, jerseys, Fridays, blackouts. If you dressed up on any of the spirit days, make sure to fill out a spirit ticket in your first hour classes for a chance to win prizes at the PEP Assembly. Prizes include a prom ticket, a parking pass, and more. Sounds like fun. On Friday, the PEP Assembly will take place during sixth hour. Students will be called out of class to go out to the field. After school, the tailgate will begin at 5 p.m., so make sure all cars are out of the junior lot by 4 for teams and clubs to set up the tailgate. The game starts at 7 p.m. As of right now, we will not be required to wear masks to either of these events since they are now going to be outside rather than inside. Now, here's an announcement from our student council. Hello everyone, I'm Riley Welton, the executive president for student council, and I have a couple announcements about the tailgate, the homecoming game, and the homecoming dance. We have a busy couple of days at the end of the week with the pep assembly at 1 p.m. on a Friday, where there will be fun games you can play with fun prizes you can win, performances by the cheer, palm, and cougarettes teams, the home queen court will be announced, and the winner of the hallway decorating contest will be announced as well. After school on Friday, we will have a tailgate and the South Line East community is welcome to come. Please come and show your school spirit. For the tailgate, cars need to be moved from the junior lot by 4 p.m. on Friday to make sure the teams can come in and set up. There will be the football game against Waldeck Central after, where the theme is blackout and the homecoming court winners will be announced at halftime. Make sure you come if you're available to show your school spirit. On Saturday, we have the homecoming dance from 5 to 8 on the track. We are selling tickets at all lunches up until Thursday, so make sure to buy one if you'd like to attend. Guests are now allowed at the dance, so please make sure you're buying your guest ticket if you'd like one. We will sell those to seniors first and work down the grades. At the dance, you are not allowed to bring heels, but you need your ID and should dress accordingly. There will be a food truck there to provide donuts and a drink at the dance as well. It will be a busy couple of days, but it will be a lot of fun. Please come to the events if you are able, and I hope to see you all there. On October 10th, the Coops Together Mental Health Group from South Lyon East High School will be hosting a 5K fun run slash walk. Starting at 12 p.m. on the East Campus, a t-shirt is included in the $25 registration fee, and the deadline will be extended so there is still time to sign up today. Day of registration starts at 10 a.m., but does not guarantee a shirt. In addition, many exciting events are on the horizon. Want to be sure you are all aware of the opportunities for our students. Students can find additional information about events, registration, details, and permission slips in their student services Google Classroom. If a student cannot access their student services Google Classroom, please have them contact 
any, uh, any uh, staff members in the student service office for assistance. Next week is the Nationwide Manufacturing Week. Oakland schools offer a virtual Manufacturing Day event on Friday, October 1st. All sophomore, junior, and senior students are welcome to attend. Ten companies from Oakland County host remote tours during this event, highlighting this challenging and rewarding career path. This is a wide array of opportunities in Oakland County with thousands of expected job openings in advanced manufacturing in the coming years. MFG Day is a great introduction to manufacturing jobs, educational requirements, entry-level opportunities, and learning what it takes to succeed directly from professionals in the field. We offer students two sessions to participate, 10.30, 11.30 a.m., or 1 to 2 p.m. Students may attend one or both sessions in Mr. Weber's classroom. Advanced registration is required. See Mr. Mr. Weber on the career events in the student services or Google Classroom for more information. Now time for the weather. It's going to be really warm today with a high of 80 and then it's finally going to clear up into the low 70s for homecoming week. On October 16th, marching band will be performing at Plymouth Canton Salem High School at their varsity field at 4.44 p.m. On October 23rd, marching band will be heading to Clarkson High School and then at Lakeland High School on October 30th. Don't worry, don't, for, or excuse me, don't forget History Club this Monday after school. Come give them a visit and learn something new about history. And that's all, folks. And don't forget to be East. And have a good day.